Rome is thought to be the oldest city in Europe by many, but Lisbon, the capital of Portugal, actually is the oldest city in Europe, which makes Portugal the oldest country in Europe. It is also the longest-lived colonial empire in European history. Portugal is located in the Iberian Peninsula, southwest part of Europe. Uh, on the west and south part, it is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean, and on the north and east side, it is bordered by Spain. As I said before, the capital is Lisbon. At some point in history, Portugal actually owned half of what was called the New World. Europe was considered the Old World, and I put it in quotes, and the New World was basically all of the new discovery that Europeans were making. That time was called the Age of Discovery, and it was led by Spain and Portugal, which ended up together being the first colonial empire, the first global colonial empire since the empire stretched over many different continents. The motivation behind was both religious and economic. At the time, spice was one of the most expensive and most valuable thing that existed. Arabs owned the spice trade and spices like cardamom and cloves and cinnamon entered Europe through the Middle East, but the Arabs owned the trade. Portugal and Spain wanted to go to the source of spices, first of all because it would be cheaper and also it would create competition to the Arab and give them the opportunity to also make money. The spice trade shaped the modern world as we know it today. Because of the spice trade, new countries, islands, cities were discovered or I would say were found by Europeans and many wars ensued that spice trade. If you want more detail about the spice trade, let me know in the comment below and I'll make a special video on that. Portugal grew its empire starting in 1415 through the conquest of Ceuta, which was the beginning of the Portuguese empire in Africa. Ceuta is a city in the northern part of Africa. That conquest, starting in the 15th century, spread across the continent and the years all the way to the 20th century. Indeed, the last city owned by Portugal was Macau in China from 1557 to 1999 when the sovereignty of Macau was transferred to China. Macau was used as a trading post by the Portuguese. Portuguese traveled so much around the world that the impact of Portugal is still felt today through language in several countries. For example, Japan used words that are direct remnant of the Portuguese influence. Pan comes from pau, which means bread, and sabato comes from sabato, which means Saturday. But Portugal was also invaded at some point of time by the Moors. The Moors were Arabs working on conquering a big part of Europe. They moved through North Africa, through Spain and Portugal, and they settled in Portugal for years. Portugal was actually called Algarve or the West for a really long time. The architecture of Portugal actually still shows the presence of the Moors. There's also many mosques in the city, although Portugal is over 80% Christian Catholic. Talking about Catholic, Fatima or the Shrine of Fatima in Portugal is a popular pilgrimage spot for Christian worshippers. It is said that in 1917, the Virgin Mary appeared to three young shepherds in that area of Portugal. Today, six to eight million pilgrims travel every year to the Shrine of Fatima. It is the second pilgrimage city for Christian after Rome. Portuguese were so into discovering the world that the first person to do a complete journey around the earth was Portuguese and his name was Ferdinand Magellan. Today, Portugal is really in the top 20 of the most visited country in the world. The fact that 17 UNESCO World Heritage Sites are in Portugal probably plays a big role. Many of them are actually monasteries. Some interesting fact about Portugal, tempura actually originated in Portugal. Even though it's currently known as an Asian or Japanese food, it actually traveled from Portugal to Japan during the time of discovery. 
The use of drugs have actually been decriminalized since 2000 in Portugal. So the possession of cannabis, even cocaine, LSD, and heroin is not illegal unless you are found with a quantity considered to be over 10 days worth. The shortest and longest reign monarch are Portuguese. The longest reign king is Enrique of Portugal, who reigned for 73 years. But the Portuguese monarchy ended with Luis Felipe, who only reigned for 20 minutes. In reality, his dad was the last reign king, fatally attacked and killed, and Luis Felipe was wounded during the same attack and died. 20 minutes after his dad. The custard tart or pastéis de nato is originally from Lisbon. The original recipe is still a family secret today and if you want to taste it, you can go to Belém where the bakery is located. These are delicious. By the way, Portugal loves coffee, especially espressos. And the national drink of Portugal is the Porto wine. It is a sweet and red fortified wine and it's Portugal's most famous export. Portugal history is rich and there's a lot to discover and talk about. If there's anything specific about the history, whether it's the spice trade, the age of discovery, or the actual Portuguese colonial empire, leave your question and comment below and I can make a special video on any of those. Thank you and let's be back in my next video. Bye!